I think he's just slipped on the carpet. He must have some new shoes on there. No, somehow I'm going to have to find a gap somewhere to get the white into open play. I'm not too sure he can get onto a killer from here. Needs a kiss. And he got a swipe kiss. Well, I expected Karen to pot that. You got to go, you got to go, okay. Oh. I've just heard Colin Humphreys, the referee, saying, you've got to go, you've got to go. Well, we know what that means, and he's gone. And Kyron's gone as well, so uh, just bear with us. Anything you want to talk about, Pino, while we're... Uh, no, I think I might just go myself and pop out and get myself a banana milkshake <laughs> while I'm doing it. Quiet, please. I think he just caught, caught his leg. Did I'm not sure whether he caught it on the on the table, but uh, he's almost been given a dead leg. I'm amazed. I am absolutely amazed. Dejan Wei, thirty. Well, no. Why should I be amazed? I got the score wrong. Sorry. Sixty-two points the lead. 59 remaining. He knew better than me. Next up, it's a very special day for Mr. Barry Hawkins. Not only is he about to embark on another second round match here at the Crucible Theatre, but he'll be cracking open the champagne tonight, whatever happens, because it's his birthday. Would you please welcome... <laughs> he did expect this. Would you please welcome... The birthday boy, Barry Hawkins. We either do it or we do it properly. <laughs> Happy birthday to Barry. On tape. Not a bad cue ball. Oh, and just a funny thing happened while you were in the studio. John Higgins went for the ice. <laughs> it's a big piece of ice. I'll just get a little one that won't fit in the glass. This would be some shot. Ooh. Mm. Mark Selby, 14. Well, you can see what happens when you went across the ball there, Stephen. <coughs> oh, man, that was a wide. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You won't want a video of that shot. I didn't see that 13 ball plant there, Willie. <laughs> well, he was actually only playing the two ball plant, Peter, but it looked like a 13 ball plant, didn't it? Yes. He's a bit of luck when he hasn't got it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was expecting him to split far and wide. It was like he hit a brick wall, wasn't it, when he went into those? Well, a dead white, but the white was going in, but those two reds were Touching touching, ball, so he got no reaction off them at all. And that's the explosion he was expecting. Just a safety shot. He hasn't put the cue ball in the pocket, has he? Oh, very good judgment there, John. Got the pace of the table. You lucky boy.
That's good. Barry banging the table. Yeah. Now, if that white did happen to drop in, I think it's only allowed about two or three seconds, and then it would be replaced again. Well, that's certainly... Where's the red ball going? Where is that red going? In the pocket. <laughs> One. It was a 14-ball clamp. I didn't spot. Didn't play that. Oh, what on earth is oh, done there? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. So merciful. Well, it just shows you he thought of everything. Complete that. Well, no. <laughs> Thank you. Settle down, please. Gee whiz. Unbelievable. What a gift for Sean. That's an interesting stat there. His pot success rate is down at 67% for the last three frames. I'm not going to win matches playing like that. Obviously, it was a very easy plant. <laughs> Got every ball moving on the table apart from the ball colours. That shot to nothing, that, wasn't it? Just settle down, please. Thank you. Needless to say, Willie, I don't think Steve Maguire was too impressed with the choice of shot selection there. <laughs> you wouldn't be impressed with the result. No, no. But he's got the covering shot, has Very he? Hawkins, five. I think he's played that in such a way that the black was going to cover it, but Graham can just miss the blue, come off the side cushion, pot the red, finish on the black, and clear up. Oh dear, oh. he can't believe he hasn't bothered that. Settle down please, thank you. Well, you can give him a hundred shots at this. And every time he made contact with the ready, we pod it. That was incredible. One. Oh, it was missable, that was. He's had a bit of luck. Well, he's had a lot of luck. <laughs> Mark Selby's right smiley was walking around the table and Dings and Wei had a little smile at each other there. Doesn't matter how good you are, John, you need a bit of luck now and again. Won't go. Won't go. It will go! He thought he'd missed it, so did I. Once it hit the top cushion, I thought there's no way it could drop. Well, will you consider Barry Hawkins had a pink today that was much better hit than that and didn't go in? How has that one gone in? Decided to move the black off the cushion. <laughs> Yeah. Well spotted. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> Graham Dot offering his cue to the crowd. I think they both could do at the minute. Richie Evans is sitting in the front row there, directly behind Barry at the moment. He's a very good amateur player. I think has to win it 3 1. 4 0 would be excellent, but if he can win this session. I think that was a foul shot. I've seen red rock. I've seen oh, rock. Ding didn't think he'd hit it. The referee thought yeah. he had. You're not sure? They're having a little discussion at the minute. <laughs> He's not sure. The referee thought he'd just the red, the red moved, okay. but Ding thought he played a foul shot. 
And what does Liang think? Well, surely the player knows. Yeah, for me it rocks. Well, so yeah, the red definitely Absolutely rocks, rocks, yes. Definitely rocked. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, you wouldn't guess it was a final session of a second round of the Crucible so far. Very relaxed. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow ball. Yellow ball. Foul and a miss. I didn't see that play for the first time. Jones, it's not on, is it? Off the third cushion, it's no. sliding. Yellow ball. Well, once you get closer to the left middle pocket here. Foul and a miss. Ooh, if only he'd have known. He could have nominated Pink and played a good shot there. <laughs> We're all wise after the event. That uh, he's got to hit a colour now. He's going to call miss. Bing ball. Foul and a miss. The free ball, is it? and six. Mm, no, I thought he was going to run past the blue. Bing ball. Mm, he lit the yellow this time. Oh. <laughs> Foul and a miss. Peter and six. Now it's. Uh, Thank you. Settle down, please. I'm trying to guess which one he's going to pick now. Oh, somebody, somebody, tell him to play the brown, please, off two cushions. Bing ball. Both 16. Well, I think we'll need to see the replay to see what happened there. Just the ball seemed to be flying everywhere. I think he actually missed Q, didn't he? Yep. Wow. Thank you. And you could see his face. Right How fortunate he's been there. <laughs> Ding in the background was there uh, smiling. I think it was a grimace rather than a smile. Just have a look at this again. <laughs> yeah, of course, when we were playing, John, there was no such thing as slow motion well, cameras. Well, we had Terry Griffiths. Settle down, please. Foul and a miss. Now, obviously, Ding would love to play a pot here, but at first glance, it doesn't look to be anything that's easy, so I'd have them Back. balls replaced. <laughs> Leon saying thanks very much. <laughs> saying exactly where he wants to leave the cue ball, but I don't know why Ding's uh, wanted to make it a Joe ball match. It's, uh, he's in trouble here. He needs to win this frame for me. Strange things happen at the Crucible. We potted this, is he? Oh! Well. <laughs> <laughs> I like the follow through from Graham. I did. <laughs> <laughs> He's jumping around like Skippy the Kangaroo. <laughs> but it does beg the question. Can Ali pot this red? Yes, he can. There's enough gap between the white and the red. Where just it's in the red, it'll drop. One. Mm. 
Where's the shot? He swerved around the yellow look. He thought he'd potted it. And then the white touched the red. It still didn't go in. And if he does go for it, this will test his cue in. Well, he can play the run through, he feels. And kiss off the other red to get a path back to Bolt, but this red's going with the cue ball. How's the kiss? Oh, he's been fortunate again. <laughs> and, uh, I think Jill Wayne was looking at it as if to say, uh, are you not going to apologise? <laughs> Oi! <laughs> yeah, might be his only shot, Dennis. Foul. And a miss. <laughs> he's got his finger with the yellow. <laughs> he's, he's quite a character, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> he always has a little bit of banter with the referee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> I noticed when he played that one, he aired on the side of caution, didn't he? he played that just inside, so we'd be having a little look if he's going to play it again now. He's uh, <coughs> just a little bit. Four. Not been potting the long shots as uh, often as he normally is. Only three out of nine so far. But that was an excellent opening pot. <laughs> He's just full of confidence at the moment. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? Well, he's done pretty well. Is the blue? Where's the cue ball? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, well, would you believe it? Where's the black going? Where's the black ball going? Surely not. John Higgins, 59. You'd have taken a four-frame advantage after the first session. You'd have snatched your hand off. Brown doesn't go oh, in, but I'm certain that's enough. I'm trying to find out where Marco is. Where's he gone? <laughs> oh, here he is. Yep. He's Frank back in the room. Ooh. Needs a bit of rescue. Where's the yellow ball going? Oh. Would you believe it? Back to. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Right in the heart of the pocket. Where's the cue ball going? Okay. 11. Well, he's hit it well this time. Where's the cue ball going? It's okay. That's what he's playing. Oh, played it lovely, but where's the red going? Where's the cue ball going? He's got the cover. He's got the cover. Oh, has he? Uh, Hold the front page. Settle down, John. Settle down. <laughs> he enjoyed that. <laughs> 